Well, 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 Joel Embiid has a good Olympics performance, and then what happens? The haters disappear. They evaporate. They go poof into thin air. Where'd they go? Why did they disappear? Where are they at? We'll talk about that and a whole bunch more, including an up-to-date free agent tracker, one updated rumor surrounding the Sixers, and we get our first glance at PG in some Sixers gear already cooking in the gym we'll get into it all but welcome into philly take with rb i'm rb do me a favor hit the like button get us to a million likes for the algorithm as we continue to bring you this coverage every day in the off season even when there's not a lot going on hit that subscribe button down below support this show and we'll start off by looking at this up-to-date free agent tracker the best available players five weeks into free agency pretty much the guys who i would qualify as I don't want to sign yet because you know the teams are in the middle right now and they don't want to give out money until they know what these guys final bottom line is going to be they want to wait it out to the last second almost like a Kelly Oubre signing last year so I would assume these guys will get signed probably in a couple weeks as we get closer to training camp but still some decent names in my opinion right Isaac Okoro, Markel Fultz, Lonnie Walker, Chetty Osman, Talon Horton Tugger, Dennis Smith Jr., Dougie McBuckets, Jay Crowder, and our boy Marcus Morris. Bring him home. Rocco, who was actually in the gym yesterday, a video finally came out, ladies and gentlemen, of Robert Covington working out. The guy is alive. Remember five months ago when Nick Nurse said there'd be no light at the end of the tunnel? We didn't see this guy. He disappeared for five months, just like the Joel Embiid haters, and now he's back. Davis Bertans, who will end up on the 76ers? They are going to sign one more player before they get to the season. And then they'll leave one open roster spot, which we already know. But speaking of our boy, Marcus Morris, a updated rumor report comes out from Keith Pompey that the Sixers and Cavs are the leaders in the Marcus Morris sweepstakes. Quote, for Morris's comfort level, the Sixers and Cavs appear to have the best chances to land him. And we know that we have hit the dead point in the offseason. As we are here in early August and we know things are quiet when we're putting out posts like this, that the Marcus Morris sweepstakes are heating up. Really? (laughs) I mean, come on. I love my guy, Marcus Morris, but come on now. Let's relax. Let's relax a little bit. Will the Sixers sign him? They absolutely should. He can be the temporary placeholder power forward for this team. They need to get him immediately. That being said, sign him today. All right, let's talk about our boy PG. Because a little video clip came out and I'm pumped. You know the off-season video clips are hitting different now. It's not guys who are shooting three-pointers saying that they're going to knock them down in the season and then they don't even take one. Nah, PG's here, man. Let's watch this video. I'm not going to play the audio, but PG in the gym, cooking, training. He's got the Sixers gear on, little midi, little drive, pull up. They really let it happen. Paul George is a Sixer. You ever look at these video clips with PG rocking the, the Sixers gear? Who I guess that was, is that his son who had the little Clippers jersey on? Time to switch that bad boy out. You ever look at these videos and go, damn, we actually got Paul George. Unreal, man. PG putting in some work. He's instructing. He's teaching. Look at that. Slam with two hands. Another jam from the baseline. Oh, one-handed slam, baby. I am getting pumped, and it is only August. Can you imagine when the training camp footage starts rolling in? I am freaking pumped up. That's all we need right there, PG. Little turn midi. Boom. Maxi, PG, and Bede, the next big three, coming to you on your local television or even your YouTube channel because you're going to be tapping in every Sixers game on Philly Take with R. B. Shout out to PG. I am super pumped. But as we know, his teammates been getting a lot of flack. Joel Embiid this, Joel Embiid that. Meanwhile, he doesn't care. He's living his best life. Joel Embiid is living his best life right now and literally living his best life because he had his best game in the Olympics and nobody is talking about it. I know it's been a couple days and we will be live for the game tomorrow as USA finally plays their first game of the knockout round. They've dominated everybody and they should breeze right through. But Joel Embiid last game against Puerto Rico, 15 points, three rebounds, two blocks. Matter of fact, I would go as far to say as the games where Embiid played, a.k.a. the first and the third one, they played better. They played better with Joel Embiid. 
So now he leads all starters in scoring. And I know it was the Anthony Edwards game, right? He had a massive game off the bench, 26 for Ann Edwards. But Joel Embiid, 15 points, three rebounds, two assists, two blocks. He outplayed Bam Adebayo. He outplayed Anthony Davis in 23 minutes, and nobody's talking about it. Tatum had a pretty good game later on as we got to the third, fourth quarter. He didn't start off that well. Curry was inefficient. Booker was inefficient. But because Joel Embiid had a great game, nobody wants to talk about it. Did Colin Cowherd put out a follow-up episode? Oh, right. It's probably not surfacing because nobody wants to talk about it because Joel Embiid had a good game. Remember that overreaction where he literally tried to dis spell everything about Joel Embiid. He tried to downplay him. He tried to take away his accolades and pretty much say he's a worthless player just because of one Olympics game. Well, how about this one? We want to talk about Joel Embiid or not? I guess not, right? Joel was hitting a couple of turnaround midi fades. He was right down in there. They said he couldn't play his style. Joel Embiid was dominating. And still, nobody wants to talk about it. Okay. Okay, I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow, right? Is Joel Embiid going to start that game? Who knows? Who knows with Steve Kerr? Because even, uh, you know, the coaching staff seems to not like Joel Embiid. But who knows? Uh, LeBron James does like him, though. And LeBron ended up defending him at the Olympics, saying, quote, we are all on Joel's side. Joe is in great spirits. We are all in great spirits as his 11 teammates. We just give him the support that he needs both on the floor and off the floor if needed. So, you know what this boils down to, man? Again, it's this new culture of online and we need to find a target. We need to find somebody to hate on. And that's perfectly fine, right? Joel Embiid has come up short in a lot of ways. And that is perfectly okay for people to target him. But when he starts winning, nobody wants to hear it, right? Nobody wants to hear it. And let me tell you something, Sixer fans are going to stick their chest out when Joel Embiid starts winning big time now that he has an actual core around him and hopefully two other stars that are going to show up and help him out and fill some of the gaps when needed on a nightly basis and in the long term as well. So just like every other superstar, Joel Embiid is going through the ups and downs, the trials and tribulations, and he's going to come out here and dominate yet again this year. He might even win the MVP. That's right. I'm speaking way into the future right now. I am foreshadowing, but Joel Embiid's locked in. He doesn't care about the booze. He doesn't care about anything. Matter of fact, you had, uh, what was it, Legion Hoops that tried to clip a little piece of the quote and, and blame Philly fans and try to portray his quote in a negative way yesterday. Everybody is out to get this guy, but he doesn't care. He's living his best life. And once again, he's going to do what he always does, come out, dominate, and if they give him the necessary ancillary pieces on this squad, there's no reason he shouldn't come out here and uh, hopefully lead them to a deep playoff run for once. So we'll see what happens, man. Joel Embiid getting ready for tomorrow. Team USA, will they win the gold medal? What do you think is going to happen tomorrow? How many points will they win by? Give me all your thoughts down below. And of course, we will be live for that game. But it is good to see his teammates, especially a guy like LeBron James, going out there and supporting him and having his back. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.